to go home um in a second and i stopped and got um some food i got this sub from mr sub um now mr sub like isn't as good as subway for sure um but it was like the only thing at the mall for some reason unfortunately um so that's what we got and yeah so we're gonna go home and i'm gonna eat that so it's like um grilled chicken lettuce cheese um we'll see how it is also i've been watching the oscars tonight um if you guys can see i've been watching the oscars i have it on pause right now so i can kind of do this video um but yeah i'm really into movies and stuff so um i love watching the oscars and i love watching most of the movies some of them are not the best but anyways also what we're doing tonight is hanging out with my dog um He's a little camera shy right now, but you guys have seen her in my other video. She's just hanging out, being really cute. Um, we're both spending this night alone, so. What we're also doing tonight is eating some red velvet cake. As you can see, I've already eaten literally half of it, but here is my bowl where I ate all of it. wondering this is what my natural hair looks like it's kind of like really frizzy um and wavy um it's usually actually more curly than this but i straighten it like every day so it's kind of over time gotten a little bit straighter but when i was younger it was like really really ringlets um so yeah next thing we're gonna do is straighten it also sorry i look so bad right now guys i have no makeup on so don't look the best um but anyways i use this straightener here it's called um suji pro i don't really know where you get these i got this at my um at a salon i went to i haven't cut my hair in like four years but i used to go to a salon and they use these hair straighteners so i got one from there and i would recommend it it's really good um and it goes up to 450 heat so that's pretty good because i need a lot of heat for my curly hair so pretty much all I do um, is kind of wait for it to heat up. And then obviously you guys probably know how to straighten hair, but you just grab a little bit and make sure that the iron is like pretty hot. And then you just go down like this. Obviously this takes like forever. Um, and a good way to do it is to like tie your hair up like this and then just do it in like sections um so we'll see i might do it like that i've been straightening my hair for about five to ten minutes you can see it's already quite a bit more straight especially here also just in case anyone was wondering it's literally like one o'clock in the morning right now when i'm doing this um i have to wake up pretty early tomorrow but um whatever um so this is what it looks like right now and I feel like I just need to kind of like clean it up a little bit, but overall it's pretty straight. And I've only really been straightening it for like 20 minutes or like 15 minutes, so it's pretty good. This is a really good straightener. I'm not promoting it um, or anything. Don't think that I am, but yeah. Okay, so it's been about like 20 minutes now and my hair is like pretty much completely straight. So it's actually pretty good. Um, doesn't really doesn't take too long. Um, all in all, it probably takes like half an hour maybe, um, and less if I like do it really quickly. Yeah, I would definitely recommend a straightener like this one. I would say if you are looking to like 
kind of learn how to straighten your hair. Obviously, it's pretty easy, but um, I would say invest in a good straightener. I think that's the most important thing. Um, when I was younger, I bought ones from like Walmart and stuff, and they just didn't really work that well um, because they didn't like totally heat up um, to a good level. So I'd say make sure if you're looking for a straightener, find one that heats up to at least 450 or at least 400, um, depending if you have really curly hair like mine, you need one that at least goes up to like 450. If your hair is not too curly, 400, 350 should be okay. Um, but I'd say if you're looking to figure out how to straighten your hair or get tips, um, I would say the most important thing is invest in a good straightener. And that might mean spending anywhere from like 150 to $200, as long as like $200. Um, but I have had it for about four years. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's a good investment. It's something that I use like every day, so, or every other day. Um, so I would really say it's worth it. Also, this has like no relevance to this video at all. But I have like such a bad bruise right here because I slipped in the shower like last month and it still hasn't gone away. Um, I don't know who slips in the shower and falls um, and like jabs her like arm onto like the little bench thing, but anyway. Also, I did not slip in the shower because I was dancing. I don't do that. Totally don't. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. Um, this is my straightened hair and this is typically kind of what I'll do. Um, for an everyday thing and then also some videos you may see me have like curly hair um, or like a little bit like wavy like a little bit curled not completely straight and that's usually because I put my hair in braids um, just so it gets a little bit curly sometimes or what you can do is take the straightener and kind of like twirl it like this and then you kind of get this curl here so to show you a bigger piece of hair you kind of just take it like this and twirl it and then you kind of get like a little bit of a wave. So if I am trying to do a curl, I have a curling iron, but I hate using it. So sometimes I will just do this and it sort of just waves it a little bit at the ends. Um, so that's typically what I'll do. Or I'll just keep it like pin straight. Um, yeah. So yeah guys, that's pretty much um, how I straighten my hair. Sorry, I'm still looking pretty bad. I don't have any makeup on. Um, I'm about to go to bed. Um, yeah, so after that, I will just brush my teeth, obviously, and then what I will do is usually put on, like, cream. I don't do this, like, every night. Like, I'm showing you, like, an ideal night, but I definitely don't do this every night, um, because I usually, like, get too tired and then just, like, fall asleep. But tonight I'm going to put on this pink, um, body lotion. It's called Wild at Heart, I guess. Um, it smells really good. I have a purple one, too. And then I just, like, put it on my arms. Especially in the winter, um, I get like really dry. I just like put it all over. Obviously, you guys know how to put on cream. So yeah, it just smells really good. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what I'll do if I have time. Um, if I don't, then I don't. I guess that's sort of what I'm doing. Um, it's literally like two in the morning, so I really have to get to sleep. Um, so that's kind of it for this vlog. Sorry, I looked like this in most of it um but i'm just showing you guys just trying to be real i don't look good like 80 percent of the time so um yeah hopefully you enjoyed this like and subscribe i'm sorry this vlog was um pretty boring it wasn't really that interesting but anyway um you guys get to see like all the kind of normal like not cool stuff i do um so yeah stay tuned for another video coming up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you're having a good day. Have a good week. My Instagram is in the description. It's also at the end of this video. And I'll see you guys. Bye.